Crescendo Contralto 18 on uh, XS D3400, uh, Discover Group 35 battery, and uh, BC5500 on the stock okay. alt. Stock alt, all right. Yeah. One ohm or half ohm or what? One ohm. Okay. And is it, what's it tuned to? Tuned to 34. 34. And you built this? Yes. Nice. Me and Absolute Audio. Okay. And what vehicle and year is this in? 2016 Nissan Sentra. Nissan Sentra. All right. And then the door speakers are all eight-inch slim tympanos okay. with two DS18 super tweeters, two PRV super tweeters, and two PRV horns. Nice. I right, say so you can hear the lyrics real well. Yeah, it sounds good. What is the meter? Um, sealed. It does uh, one. 42.9 today and then in the port uh, 162 flat at 33 hertz Ooh. 60 plus port okay sweet this is our first year at ruckus is pretty it pretty cool yeah yeah i was here last year it was a lot smaller turnout really so oh, yeah this year or last year last year uh, Killing it. <laughs> Judge me, YouTube, but I'm doing this. Two, <laughs> uh, nine times out of ten, you're ten. If you schedule, open up, pencil your end. I wiggle it in, get with your friend, laugh now, cry later, a particular dick. Karate, Damn. got a black belt on. For a single single 18. Not many people do 18s in the trunk, so. Trust me, I know why. Why? Yeah. Struggle. Struggle? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Box is just like, this close to not be yeah. enough. Awesome. How low do you play? Uh, I'm willing to play down to 29. It's pretty good, yeah. Pretty musical. Yeah, here's better. Yeah, I'll hear one more, sure. Oh, 
cocaine, it's my girl to fly Water, 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 water Damn, I got a force change Oh, sure, yeah, Jacob Barrow. I do a video every day. I got about 80 left to post, so you'll be on there. Yeah, man. Right. Yes, sir. Nice Excellent. to meet you. You can leave the door open. Yep. Your name again? Brandon Shelton. Brandon. All right, Jacob. Jacob Vall for another daily video. Appreciate you guys always watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down or let them know in the comments what was wrong with it for me and him. Also, give some feedback in the comments of what you think about his system. And let's go ahead and get started with the daily shout out. Today's daily shout out is going to Mr. Big Z. He said, hey man, how about a shout out? Love seeing all these different systems you post daily. So there's your shout out, Mr. Big Z. Appreciate you watching. Thanks everybody for watching. And as he said on is uh basically my goal is to post a lot of different systems a uh, system a day from different shows i go to from all variety and levels so i appreciate you guys watching and in today's system this guy had a single 18 in his trunk as y'all just saw flexing the heck out of his whole car so it's nice to see something different not many people do 18s in a trunk so it was something pretty cool to see as well as see the style of the box he had and i got a few little things to discuss in this one so let's go ahead and get started so first off if you had a trunk build ever or seen, what is the most subs you've ever seen from a trunk non-walled? Meaning, how many subs have you seen in the trunk? I personally think I've seen a trunk before with eight 12s. That's probably the most I've ever seen. But what kind of system have you seen in the trunk as the most amount of subs? I've seen a guy do four 15s, eight 12s. A lot of people even do like six 10s. Uh, generically, it's usually one 15, two 12s, two 10s, but just curious, what is your the most amount of subwoofers you've ever seen in the trunk? Maybe Google it, you can see some pretty cool systems. Just get some little free couple of minutes and go ahead and Google big insane trunk builds, just for fun for you guys maybe. Oh, but that's one thing I wanna talk about. Second thing, airport versus slot port. So I don't know very much about this. Um, maybe some of you guys could comment and help me on if you've actually truly done real world experience with comparing airport and a slot port. So first off, what is Aeroport? Aeroport is what was in this system. It's a big circle, uh, eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch flare, and it comes into the box and it tunes from the, the Aeroport. And then they have slot ports, which is literally just a square. You're gonna have a square shape section or a rectangle um, within the box. And it's built usually with wood 90% of the time. So those are the two differences, um, Aeroport and slot. There's two ways to tune your ported box or sixth orders or even fourth order walls, but just particularly for trunk builds today, like how can y'all tell the difference between airport and a slot port? The only thing I can think of, I have on my notes here, is there's less room required for an airport versus a slotted port. Um, also, it's probably easier to do an airport because it's literally just a hole and you can screw it onto it. But with a slotted port, there's a bonus on this I can say, is slotted port gives you a lot more bracing, it's easier to tune and retune, 
Uh, unless you're taking an airport and you do different lengths and sizes, you can probably add a plate there and uh, change the diameter. Or you can do two ports and then you can fill one of those ports on an airport, but you can't do that with a slot port. But you can add wood to shrink to the slot port. Or you can make the length change differently for a slot port versus airport. So there's a lot of different variations, a lot of different trial and error tests for that. But just a little quick discussion on that, maybe pop, pop the little ears for some of you guys, give you some brainstorming ideas for if y'all are working on a trunk build or even a no wall build with the airports or trunk slot ports. I have only done slot ports in any builds I've ever done for myself. But in general, that's because I've used wood and I don't buy things outside of local. And airports are normally more you buy it low, um, online or your car to your dealership, wherever you go for that. Um, and I've never done that. So I used a slot port and just tuned it from that. And last thing, where do you go? I had a guy ask me this a couple days ago. A couple of guys asked me, where do you go for tuning your box or knowing your tuning? I just Googled 12 volt box calculator. 12 volt box calculator and that will basically give you a good reference to go by showing your tuning showing your space your cubic space of your box and a good idea to get you for where you stand with your box if you don't know even if you built one you could see it from there so 12 volt box calculator is what i normally use all right that's it for the day appreciate you again mr big z for watching always thanks for all you guys always watching being subscribers and i go ahead and Join me on Facebook and Instagram if you haven't already. Uh, go ahead and add me on there, Jacob Viral, and this is Jacob Viral out. Until the daily video tomorrow, see y'all.